the International Food Policy Research Institute, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said that the U.S. will increase aid for famine relief to the Horn of Africa, with 12 million U.S. dollars reserved for Somalia, the worst affected by the crisis. The United States is the largest single country contributor of food and humanitarian assistance to the Horn of Africa. On Monday, President Obama announced that in light of the current crisis, we are making available an additional $105 million in emergency funding. Today, I'm announcing another $17 million on top of that, with $12 million designed specifically for helping the people of Somalia. That brings the total U.S. humanitarian assistance to the region to more than $580 million this year. We are reaching more than 4.6 million people with this aid. Ms. Clinton reissued her demand for Al Shab militants to give aid workers free entry into Somalia. Still, a great deal depends on whether Al Shabaab is willing to let international assistance be delivered. And so I once again urge Al Shabaab to heed the calls not only of the international community, including the Arab League, but of the cries of their own people and allow the secure delivery of relief to all those who are afflicted. The United States will continue to work with Somalis and the international community to bring the hope of peace and stability to Somalia. And we join all Somalis in hoping that there will be a future uh, with a functioning government that can protect the Somali people against famine and help to build a sustainable agricultural sector. Clinton called on governments and donors to contribute with immediate aid for the 12 million people affected by the worst drought and famine in decades in countries such as Ethiopia, Kenya, Djibouti and Somalia. Nadia Drisman, Al-Arabiya.